Hello there, welcome to Blink and Beep. Um, in this video, I will be unboxing the new FedEx uh, network uh, cable tester and the crimp tool that I purchased recently. Let's quickly unbox it. Here is the crimping tool and the wire stripper. And the testing kit. It comes with inbuilt batteries, I guess. Okay. And it's detachable. And we get. 100 um, cat5 modular plugs well uh, i will show you how to use all this in the same video okay guys so here we are we have all the tools laid out here uh, we have the crimping tool the cutter the tester and the connectors so the connectors this is how it's going to look like I am pretty sure that you would have seen this already so we get like hundreds of this with the one that we purchased all right so we will start with the uh, testing tool I will show you how to use this guy as we know we saw already it comes with an inbuilt battery and uh, to test it we should know that there is a cable that is already working and proven so this is a cat6 cable that i have been using for a long time and uh, i will be using this to show you how the tester works so i will be taking one end of my cat6 cable and inserting it into the port here and the other end right here so what i would expect is as i turn on the switch here these lights go blinking and that's how we know that the cable is working not just how the light is blinking but there is a way that it's supposed to work i will tell you how so let me just go with the on yeah so as you see the lights are blinking from one to eight so that is to say that all the eight ports are the eight cables that is within this sleeve is all working fine um, the s here denotes that it will give us the output in slow motion kind of thing so once i press that you see the lights going slowly that means it's the same thing but just gives us the slower vision so one two three four five six seven and eight so that means this cable is pretty much working fine and the testing tool is also working fine so with that we will get started with our own crimping here is a cable that i will be using now for doing the demo uh, so as you see one end already has the connector and the other end doesn't have the connector so this is where we are going to put the pin and see how it works and we will test it right away these are the items that we are going to need to put this connector to this end of the cable this is a cat6 version it's the same that i showed you a little bit earlier and the first thing we'll use the blade to cut the sleeve out and um, this blade actually has different settings sort of thing here so the first one has a bigger dia and it gradually decreases i actually will be using the second one here uh, that's because this sleeve is kind of uh, small for the first one so i'll be using the second one um, if you are using a cable like this uh, if you gotta notice this has a bigger dia than the wire that i'm showing the black one here so if that is the case then you can go with the first one if not if it looks smaller like this then you can go with the second one so now we'll be using the second one so hold your cutter like this and put the cable this way and just make one rotation that should actually be enough to cut the sleeve out if you keep rotating uh, the blade is gonna cut the cables in so don't do that 
here we go so there is a cover I'm gonna take it out like this and as you see we have multiple pairs of cables that's running inside mm. the brown and the brown white the blue and the blue white the orange and the orange white the green and the green white so now we need to unwrap this so now that we have unwrapped it you see that uh, these cables are little bent so we have to straighten them out a bit so this process uh, helps us to make sure that there is no issues when we are trying to put the cable inside the connector so just making sure they are uh, all straight and now to the most important part we need to make sure that these cables are arranged in a certain way so that we will have the working cable so to start with first we need to identify the wire with orange and white so that's here and then the orange so they go like this and the green with white yeah and then the blue and the blue with white so they are in place already and then the green and uh, the brown with white and the brown so now we need to make sure they are all in a straight line something like this would do again to make sure the orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white and brown okay guys now let's see if the length of the cable is enough uh, for putting it inside the connector um, so for me it seems to look like the, the length of the cable is a bit uh, more so uh, the thing is that a little bit of the sleeve has to go inside the connector here so it kind of needs to look something like this a bit of the cable running inside uh, uh, the connector here so that way when we crimp it it kind of gets locked to the sleeve uh, so which means we'll have to cut a bit of the cables so we'll be using the crimping tool it actually comes with a blade so that we can use to cut all right so there we go once you are done make sure that all the cables are uh, the same way as you would expect it so now for me the green with white is actually mislocated so putting it back in place so again checking orange with white orange green with white blue blue with white green um, brown with white and brown okay that's a bit confusing now we just need to insert it into the connector um, just for your reference it's from my left to right the orange starts from my left and uh, the brown is at the right um, as far as the connector goes there's a clip on the other side so it just needs to be uh, facing down and just need to insert just hold it so that the cables won't change location as it goes in and yeah just push it enough so now my cables are in all the way up to this part and as you see there is this uh, um, copper connectors that has to make the connection contact with the cables that we have inserted that is the main purpose of crimping so we'll be using the crimping tool to achieve that oops here is our crimping tool and we are going to crimp it right we just hold it this way hope you guys can see it all right so all the way in and a press that's it 
There you go. Here we have our new connector. Oh, I guess you heard the sound when I when I did the crimping. So that's the indication that the crimping has been done successfully. And now it's time for testing. Let's see how we did. I'll be inserting one end right here and the one that we worked goes to the other end. All right, and now for the testing, I'll directly go to the slow mode to check it. There you go. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Looks like we have got it correct. I will also show you how it would be if we didn't make the connection right. So that way you'll be able to identify what's right and what's wrong. So here if you see the number two and the number six are getting skipped. So which means those two cables are not uh, crimped properly. All right guys, so with that we come to the end of this video. Thank you, hope you guys found this video helpful. There is a plenty more of videos available in my channel. Please do watch them. Thank you, bye bye.